Hi there, Flat Cap Chef here, and we're now going to look at how to cook streaky bacon. And at the end of that, we're going to create just a lovely little bacon sandwich. So let's get to the pan. So we have a non-stick pan, dry, no oil required, okay? Three pieces, four if you want, of streaky bacon. Seals away, and then we have a fork. Just do that to move the bacon around a little bit. Make sure it doesn't stick to what is supposed to be a non-stick pan, but you know that happens sometimes. And what we're looking for is some colour. Once we get the colour on this bacon, we have a nice brown edge, and we know it's pretty well cooked, as we'll see in a minute. The longer you cook it, the more crispy it's going to get. You see the fat is already coming out of it. No need to have fat in the pan. If you're doing back bacon, you probably will need just a touch of oil in there. The back bacon doesn't have as much fat, so it's not going to cook quite so easily without any oil. You might find it sticks rather more. So I'm moving it around. Very simple, as you can see. We're starting to get a little bit of colour just on this edge. So now we just flip it over. And you can see we've already got a nice bit of colour in there, which is great. So this is only going to take maybe two, three minutes and it's going to be cooked. go, move it around a little bit. We want that fat to render out really quickly, which helps to cook. This is actually smoked bacon that I'm using. I prefer that because it has a little bit more flavour to it. Now the alternative, of course, if you don't want to do it this way, in a pan, is you can put it on a tray like this. Simple tray, bit of foil, pop it into the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes, and that's on around about 180 to 200 centigrade, which is about five or six, gas mark five or six if you're using gas. And now we're at the point needed to turn it over again. Bit of color here still. You can see that there's no fat required. It's already in there, which is great. Who wants to add oil unless you really, really need to? So it's almost uh, at the point where we're gonna be able to take it out and create that lovely little sandwich. So here we go. Now from the sandwich point of view, all I've done is prep something. We have no butter, no fats, no margarine. I like a bit of ketchup, so a little squirt of ketchup on two pieces of otherwise dry bread. Here we go. We get the, we get the oil, a little bit of the oil out of the bacon. It gives it a nice flavor. We don't need to add fat unnecessarily either to the sandwich or to the pan. So this is pretty much cooked now. You can see the edges has now turned this lovely golden brown colour, which is perfect. So I'm going to flip it one more time. There we go. So that's taken, what, two minutes, three minutes, and it's cooked. So all we do then, and I like to do this, you can put that straight into your sandwich if you really want to. I prefer just to take it off the heat, take it out of the pan, a little bit of kitchen towel, just to take off that excess fat. A little tap down, so all that shiny oil has gone. And we have some lovely bacon. Bring in the bread. I prefer to lie these, you'll find a kind of a slightly different shape at each side. So you do it the other way, it fills in the gap. So you have a really neat looking sandwich to one way at the other, put it on there, just pop it on, one sharp knife, hands out of the way, across the bridge. Streaky bacon sandwich, sorted.